that helps people see through a con. This is very bad. <laughs> this is very, very dangerous. And I'm calling Betsy on this, and she's not going to like this. <laughs> and I'm going to tell Jeff to expand the definition of treason. How's that? But I'm not speaking to Jeff right now. <laughs> You want to be able to see through a con? Well, let me tell you something. There are no such thing as con men unless they write for the New York Times. <laughs> Important people, the best people, the very best people, have told me that some of you have written books. <laughs> books about science books about skepticism, whatever that is. <laughs> books that tell consumers that alternative medicine doesn't work and vaccines do. Books on evolution and books that say that humans are causing climate change. Well, let me tell you, my friends, these are hoaxes. Hoaxes invented by the Chinese. <laughs> and I love the Chinese, and they love me. But it's a country of hoaxes, trust me. My, my friends, we live in a very, very dangerous time. Experts with their hoity-toity degrees from fancy schools want to confuse you and make you scared. They think they're better than you because they know facts and they read books and they write books. Books that fill walls. Well, those walls are not very strong, are they? I can topple those walls with a push with a tweet, a really clever tweet, can take down a wall of books. And I know tweets, I give myself a 10 out of 10 for tweets. <laughs> and I love walls. I know how to build walls. Real walls, not in books. You do it by slapping your name on a facade in really big letters. So big and so bright that no one can see that the wall is built on sand. That's the trick. I love sand, by the way. I love it so much I have a place in Florida. It's great. It's the best. Really good chocolate cake. <laughs> My friends, People are like grains of sand on the desert. Grains of sand blown by the wind. They blow this way, they blow that way, they blow anywhere the wind will take them. But they need the wind. They want the wind. And of the biggest hottest bag of wind you've ever 